the supernatural is passive. Man's action is active. So you initiate the activity and the supernatural rides on that activity to either give you a voice communication or a vision. So you will not be active in the spirit till you speak. You have to speak. And you will speak on the earth. Ephesians 6, 18. When we, when we read the, the pretext, you will see the sword of the spirit. Look at it. Praying or, give, give me verse 17. Ephesians 6, 17. Pretext. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying. The sword of the spirit is the word of God, praying. So the sword of the spirit is the word of God, praying. Word of God. Remove all the verses. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying. So the sword of the spirit is the word of God, praying. And he uses spirit two times. Now, the word of God there is the word rema. Rema. That is utterance. Praying always in the spirit. Sword of the spirit. The word of God. Praying in the spirit. So, praying in the spirit is the word of God. Praying in the spirit is the word of God. Praying in the spirit is the word of God. When we pray in the spirit, every time, we are praying, even though it is tongues, those tongues are the word of God. The word of God there is rema, utterance. So the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always. Always. So the word of God there is speaking or utterance. Because the word of God is always speaking. All prayer. All prayer in that verse. Pray with all prayer means all manner. All manner of prayer. Then he introduced a K-A-I. A Kai. Which is the T-K-S rule of Bible interpretation. All manner of prayer that is supplication. So all kinds of prayer is supplication. All manner is zeroed in as supplication. So supplication is what is called all manner of prayer. Supplication. Which is supplication. Supplication. In the spirit. So supplication in the spirit is the word of God. Supplication in the spirit is the word of God. That shows you that supplication doesn't go to God. When you are praying prayers of supplication, you are not praying to God. Because supplication is the word of God. And the word of God doesn't go to God. Which shows you that supplication is situated among circumstances. So the word of God, which is supplication, is a prayer... That goes into circumstances and situations to arrange and rearrange things. It doesn't go to God. Uh -uh. It doesn't go to God. Remember, supplication deals with circumstances. You know, situations. Like somebody, you want, you know, you want to get a husband. You want to marry. You're tired of being alone. So now we have to, we have to supplicate. And begin to deal with circumstances because the man you may want to marry may be in Turkey. And the man that may want to marry you may be in Turkey. You are in a quiet bomb. There's no way naturally two of you can meet. So now when we supplicate, what we do is we via the spirit begin to navigate circumstances and begin to shift things around that guy and shift things around this lady. When we start shifting things, it will take a while, but you stay there. That's why praying always. You stay there until situations will move the man and move the lady somehow, somehow. They will meet. And you hear a sister say, I was just on my own. God just arranged this man. It's not God. Though. You prayed and arranged the man. It's supplication. 
Same thing with jobs. There's a particular kind of job you want and it's not available here. So you start arranging circumstances and situations that will connect you. So supplication has to do with dealing with circumstances. Listen, we don't deal with the man because we have no power over human will. Even God has no power over human will. But we have power over circumstances. So we will navigate to the circumstances that that man is involving and start shifting the circumstances. And when the circumstances are shifting, the man will have to shift along. I don't know if you understand. It's not a prayer over human will. It's a prayer that gets involved with circumstances. That's why it's supplication. That's why we don't pray intercession. When you hear people say, I'm an intercessor, it's ignorance. They don't know scripture. No human being is an intercessor. Jesus is the only intercessor. An intercessor is a mediator. One that talks to God on your behalf and talks to you on behalf of God. Only Jesus is the intercessor. We don't have intercessory prayers. Uh -uh. We are not intercessors. Only Jesus. That's why the Bible says he ever lived to make intercession. He is the intercessor. What we do is we supplicate. What they call intercession for lack of knowledge is what the Bible teaches as supplication. Supplicate. Are we teaching good here? Yeah, so we supplicate. We don't intercede. Now, please pay attention. So that prayer doesn't go to God. That prayer goes into situations. Is the word of God in the situation. So is the word of God in the situation. The word of God praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. The word of God there is the word makaria in the Greek. Makaria, if you're writing, M-A-C-H-A-R-I-A, makaria. We saw it the other day. Makaria is used to cut things or to fight. Sword of the spirit. Sword of the spirit. Makaria, to cut or to fight. Okay? So it's a weapon. It's a weapon. The sword of the spirit is a weapon. A weapon against. A weapon against. Now, if you observe the pretext, the discussion there is the whole armor of God from verse 10. Put on the whole armor of God. And you must understand what the armor is because if you don't understand what the armor is, you won't understand what I'm explaining. So Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. It means supply strength. Supply strength. Where are you supplying the strength from? From inside you. Be strong. Supply strength in the Lord. Now let me ask you a question. In the Lord, is it the same thing with in the spirit? Yes. Huh? yes. In the Lord or in the spirit. Okay. In the Lord, is it the same thing with in Christ? Yes. In Christ. Okay. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings where in the heavenlies where in Christ. So be strong in Christ where you have all the blessings. Okay? So the supply is from inside you. The strength is not coming from outside. The strength is from within. Strengthen with might. In the inner man by the spirit. The strength is inside. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in Christ. That means supply strength that is in Christ. That means the strength is in Christ. That's why he said, and in the power of his might. What is the power of his might? Ephesians 1.19. 1.19. The power of his might. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us what who believe according to the working of his mighty power. So where is the power? In Christ. So, the power is in Christ and we are seated in Christ. So, when he says, be strong in the Lord, what he's saying is, take advantage of what you have and supply it. Take advantage of what you have in Christ 
and supply it. See, you supply it. And you see, when a man is strengthened with might, discouragement, if or no. See, depression, if or no. Iba. Discouragement, Iba. All those things are not there. See that? Because when you are strengthened, even if the whole world team up against you, the strength inside you like a steel. You look at them and you say, they don't know who they are toying with. You stand so strong till all of them disappear. You are still there. That strength in the inner man. The problem is many believers are weak in the inner man because they do not supply. They do not take advantage. Kabato Malaka. When you stay for three hours, meyano no, megegege, karataka korodogo, lebraka, nekrana, nekrana, you are in one place for three hours, tonguing. When you walk out, when you walk out, you are 30,000 times taller than you were before. You look at problems, you laugh, because they are like biscuits before your face. But when you are weak, because you are not taking advantage of the supply, any little thing, Oh, I don't know if I will make it. Any little thing. Because you don't have strength. That's why you must be strengthened by the spirit. And how do you draw that strength? Praying. When you begin to pray in the spirit. You wake up in the morning. You, you take a corner in your room for one full hour. Giadaga, 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 giadaga. When you finally come out. Your eyes are red. Let the storm come. You use one hand and hold the storm. And put it down. Because you are strengthened with might. By the spirit. Where? In the inner man. You can't be depressed. Somebody speaks evil of you. You just laugh. Because it's like they, they, they put air conditioner on you. When people start manipulating you. It's because you don't have strength. You start a project, you can't finish it. Little, little obstacles, you give up. Everything you start, you can't finish. You lack strength. You go for evangelism, they ask you two questions, you run away. You don't go for evangelism again. You say, ah, no, this one is for Papa. Dem. Who even deceived me to think I'm a man of God? Every time Papa will say, all of you are men of God, all of you are men of God. Common question, I cannot answer. <laughs> Gideon said, I am a small boy. I come from a small house. And the angel of the Lord spoke to him the word of the Lord. He didn't answer him. He said, go in this your might. You see weakness. You see small boy. But I see might. You may think you are a nobody. But the power that created the universe is on your inside. Jekota, Makaratana. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Jekoto Makayada. As your amen will come like thunder, the remaining days of your life, you will live it in victory. You will live it in victory. Victory over circumstances. Victory over situations. I didn't hear that amen like thunder. Say with me, the power of God is on my inside. I have what it takes to dominate my world. I have what it takes to change and rearrange things. Kadoga, doga, doga. Who told you it's impossible? Who told you it cannot be done? Zazako Takanaga. Nekaro Tekeyada. The power for all possibilities is on your inside. With men it may be impossible, but with God all things are possible. Christ in you. Jakota Makate Nakata Nego Zokoyada Who art thou, O great mountain before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt be made a plain. How? It's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. When you carry the spirit of God, mountains will skip like rams at your appearance. Somebody shout, I hear you. 